Hello and welcome to Prompt News, the channel where you can stay updated on all the latest and greatest GPT news and developments. Today, we're excited to show you what we believe is the first ever ChatGPT game engine. That's right. You can now create and execute and play not only text-based games within ChatGPT, but text-based applications. James Griffin, the brains behind this approach, has allowed for us to share his technique here on Prompt News today. We will be discussing further into his methodology and ideas in an upcoming video, so make sure you're subscribed and ding that bell so you don't miss it. Without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start off by looking at this game. In this demo, I've added text-to-speech for dramatic effect. To my knowledge, it's not possible yet until they release an API. You wake up in a virtual reality simulation. Alex from the future here skips to 3 minutes 56 if you don't want to watch the game. I understand. What would you like to do? 1. Examine the door. You examine the door and notice that it appears to be the only way out of the room. It is made of metal and has a keycard scanner next to it. The scanner is currently red. What would you like to do? 1. Try to open the door. You try to open the door, but it is locked. It appears that you need some sort of keycard to open it. What would you like to do? 4. Look for keycard. You open your inventory and find that you have nothing in it. What would you like to do? Do Check for other ways out of the room. You look around the room and see that there are no windows or vents, and the walls and ceiling appear to be solid. It seems that the door is the only way out of the room. What would you like to do? I've examined the room again. You take a closer look around the room and notice that there is a small crack in one of the walls. It's difficult to see, but upon closer inspection, it appears that a small piece of the wall can be pushed in, revealing a hidden compartment. What would you like to do? 1. Open the hidden compartment. You open the hidden compartment and find a keycard inside. What would you like to do? 1. Use the keycard on the scanner. You use the keycard on the scanner and the light turns green. The door clicks and you are able to open it. You step through the door and find yourself in a corridor. What would you like to do? 4. Look for other hidden compartments in this corridor. You look for other hidden compartments in the corridor but find none. What would you like to do? Do go right. You go right down the corridor, you find a door at the end of the corridor, it is closed. What would you like to do? 1. Open the door. You open the door and find yourself in a large open space, with a lot of people around. Some are sitting in front of screens, others are walking around. This seems to be some sort of control room or hub. What would you like to do? Do talk to NPCs. As you approach the NPCs, they seem to be preoccupied and not very interested in talking to you. They seem to be focused on their tasks. What would you like to do? 4. Interact with objects in the area. You start to interact with the objects in the area, you notice that most of them are computer screens or consoles. You try to access them, but they are all password protected. What would you like to okay, do? Okay, I'm going to stop it there, you get the picture. Let's dive in to see how exactly this was made. Okay, in essence, the game consists of two elements, the game parameters and the game engine. Uh, once we fill out the parameters, we can then inject that, and sorry, inject that into the game engine and then feed that into GPT chat to launch the game. We don't have to fill out all of the nitty gritty details of the parameters. Um, this can be done by GPT chat actually. So we're, we're playing, we're playing a game of tennis. We're, we're giving them information. They're giving us some back. We're giving them more information. So we're building upon it. Okay. So rather than filling all of this out, we're going to get the AI to kind of dictate the characteristics and the parameters of the game. We're just going to give it the game title. So let's select this. Make sure I have it all and then paste that into GPT, chat GPT. And then we're going to, I'm a fan of Leisure Suit Larry. I was. Uh, so let's go. The game is about 
a man trying to find a girl friend but is always refused by women there we go there's larry lapper and uh, then yeah we can just plug that in by the way while this is computing i'd just like to add that you can change any of these details to suit your needs so you're not you're not fixed obviously to what it's writing now and there we have it our parameters are ready so what we do now is let's just copy that to a clipboard let's open a new chat now we need the engine so let's take the engine put that into chat gpt and put in our game within the brackets there we go we're ready to roll uh, so obviously this can be done with applications as well this is just an example of proof of concept and there we have it a self-writing game engine sorry within gpt chat um this can be used for a lot of other functions uh think about kind of self-help or interactive educational systems tours etc um so this is just basic uh, example to show you the proof of concept this can be built out uh we i did try to use ascii as like an image generation for this but it didn't work too well <laughs> but uh yeah this this can be something really big i believe oh sorry one last thing i forgot while i was editing uh please subscribe to the channel it really means a lot and if you did like it then leave a comment or even a like uh, and also a shout out to my sister channel, which is Prompt Muse, literally my sister Amelia. Uh, and over there, you'll learn all about graphics and images using GPT-3. So we uh, have all of our content on promptmuse.com. So check us out. All right, take care. Bye.